this is what it looks like if, uh, if it's very low tide in our place so you can see the, the stones went above it's like the, the sea uh, is, is draining <clears throat> There are advantages and disadvantages about this very low tide. <coughs> uh, the disadvantages of it is uh, that uh, uh, it's hard to find bigger fishes, bigger fish which can be uh, useful in daily lives or in uh, getting things of income. <coughs> All the there are different types we can get in the sea during the low tide. So one of it is sea urchins. Yes, we are thankful for the sea urchins because we can eat it. We can eat it when <coughs> this kind of law. It still serves as the viand or and the pure of the rice of its meal. We call it viand food in Philippines. Uh, we don't eat usually just uh, single, uh, just a rice. We always pair it with another food, so you can see. So you can call it viand food. So one of the benefits I told you earlier when you tied is sea urchins. <coughs> sea urchins. There are different types of sea urchins: toyom, dapag. So wacky. Uh, <clears throat> literally, that's uh, the Saiyan word. The uh, paja paja, the jom so wacky, the pow the pow. So what I will be showing you now is uh, getting for the pow. How we can get one? Actually, I'm not that very good at getting the the pow, but. I know how to find it. <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not doing it all the time. So you can say I'm just an amateur. The first thing you need to understand. Uh, the first thing you need to know uh, is house. We call it house. Their house. So they were sep it's the Buddha Pao is created. It's here where we can find it. Huh? So it's not far from the shore if you know it's like that. Oh, I'm searching for a house of the Pao. So we can easily figure it out that there is a the Buddha Pao lying under. So this type of sea urchins buried itself <clears throat> and like toyom tojom bangas they're showing up now this one is is like uh, it's a house of the house so by using a knife or even your finger you can find you can get the telephone so I made the uh, <coughs> uh, the wrong one. I hit the wrong one. No, for the pow. As I said earlier, I'm not that good in <coughs> finding them. But anyways, we're still searching. It's not that hard to find. Anyway, so <coughs> for sure we can find one. So again, let's see if we have here. Oh, we have here. <coughs> so this is the photo power, just a sample only. Because it's a bit smaller. It's lying under the uh, the soft the soft land, the soft soil from the sea. <clears throat> we could call it uh, lapak because it's different from the visual soil. 
So let me show you why it's edible. Why it can be eaten. Where we always eat it. <clears throat> so let me cut it into half because that's how you can eat this type of sea urchin. Almost sea urchin is the same. Uh, the, uh, the flesh you can eat is inside of it. one so mm -hmm. this is what it looks like inside of it sometimes <clears throat> they're not providing a good flesh it can be eaten there's no assurance <clears throat> so anyway here here This is it's less it's <clears throat> small amount of flesh that it's not good to find one these days.